Who's education? Our education! another job to support yeah. my classroom. Yeah. That says a lot. So I'm a sixth grade teacher at Augusta Lewis Troop School. This is my first year in the district, however, not my first year teaching. But I'm oftentimes asking myself, will this be my last year? I have showed up day in and day out to do the work that has been my lifelong dream. And these days I'm often asking myself, who is there to show up for me? We are at a pivotal moment in the time, in time, where we as educators have to understand that we cannot go back to the normal way of things. The old way was dehumanizing, unsustainable, bad for kids and educators alike. Teachers are constantly feeling trapped, beaten up by students, parents, and in a district that just doesn't get it anymore. In this moment, this very moment, we must take action. We must use this moment to make significant change, otherwise in the fall, students could be arriving back to school without a certified teacher. Yeah. We want change! Yeah. Thank you for your time, and remember, we are in some of the toughest, toughest battles in our professional careers, fighting for staffing, safety, and stability. Thank yeah. you. We want staffing, safety, stability! That's what we're asking for! Staffing, safety, stability! There is a crisis in New Haven. Yes. There is a crisis in our state. Why is there a crisis in our state? Why is there a crisis in our community? We 
continue to educate the way we did 50 years ago. No way. Massive changes are needed. Changes. I will say it again. Massive changes are needed. Massive changes are needed. That's needed to meet the demand of the new era. And I'm going to say this as parents. We all want and need a high quality education for our children. That's what we all want and that's what we all need. We got to set up our teachers for success. Our teachers and our staff, we got to set them up for success by offering ultra competitive pay with incentives. Build like a pro. We got to build like a pro with a solid floor. Provide adequate funding for our bus drivers to drive our kids to school. For our teachers to teach, yes. for our parents to support, yes. for our staff to produce yes. in-house, fresh, healthy, high-quality meals for our children. Yes. Yes. Implement, food. implement and fund a robust pre-K in every Connecticut school district yes. following the Head Start model. Yes. On education with Melody K. Provide more funding to our schools with a greater concentration on low-income, special needs, English language learners, and students with the most needs. Thank you. I'd like to know how many people in the upper echelons of the Board of Ed would tolerate exactly living on the same pay even though electricity goes up and gas goes up and heating oil goes up and rent goes up and well everything goes up except my salary. So that's why we are here really um, pleading to their sensibilities. <laughs> president of the four seas we are out here for a simple reason we are fighting for our students who are we fighting for who are we fighting for and I'm happy to introduce our next speaker uh, professor Christopher Trombley we recommended that Connecticut expand access to affordable high-quality child care that we offer all children the ability to attend preschool free of charge beginning at age three, and that we ensure that the professionals who staff these programs are paid at competitive rates, reflecting their levels of training and the huge res responsibility that they take on each day. There are so many issues. Teachers complain, but nothing is being done. Teachers are trying their best with the materials that they're given, but have to spend their own money from their own pockets every single day just to keep us going and keep us learning the best way they can. Representative Josh Elliott, let's go Representative Elliott. We now have data that's coming out that shows the same problems we had when I first got elected are here and they're worse that if you're in the top 1% of income earners in our state, you're paying one quarter of what the middle class in our state is paying and save in local taxes. That's a big problem and we're not resolving it, we're not addressing it. Naturally, as a parent, I want my children to one day have the opportunity to experience a higher education that we allow them to enjoy life in which they can thrive without allowing their background 
and financial status dictate how much, how fast, how long, how soon their ability to achieve it is. I want them to have a career they enjoy and feel fulfilled. We're, we're, we're done at this location. We are now gonna take the fight to City Hall. And Hello everyone, my name is Nayeli Garcia, I am a member of Unidad Latina en Acción, I am a graduate of Hill House High School, I am a student, I am a student at Gateway Community College and I work two jobs. One of them is cleaning houses, my dream is to graduate from the university as a teacher or a social worker, my mom never She brought me to this country when, she, when I was 11 years old to have a better future. No es posible que en el país más rico del mundo el estudio sea un lujo solo para la gente que pueda pagarlo. Debería de ser un derecho gratuito para que los estudiantes como yo tengamos que, no tengamos que dejar los estudios por el trabajo. It is not possible that in the richest country in the world going to school is a luxury. Um, only for people that can afford it. It should be a right and it should be free. Education should be free! Education should be free! Education should be free! Professor Eric Maroney, are you in the house? by public schools. I, my life would not look like it looks like today if it were not for public school. Oh yeah! I see AUP in the house. I'm a proud graduate of Southern Connecticut State. And I see some of my professors from 20 years ago in the crowd. These are people who taught me to write, taught me to think, and taught me to engage, taught me to show up. I spent nine years teaching public high school in New Haven Public Schools. I see my brothers and sisters, my siblings from Local 933 and from Council 4. These folks taught me to teach, they taught me to, to instruct, and they also taught me to engage. I see my colleagues, my siblings from Gateway Community College, from the community colleges across the state, overseas. students from Gateway Community College every day every day these folks are teaching me how to show up and how to engage I am grateful to be a PhD student at UConn UConn is represented here as well at UConn and the faculty there have given me permission to dream again to think and to dream again pedagogy and scholarship belong in the streets. Join me in calling on our elected officials demanding the full funding of pre-K through higher ed so that everyone can be afforded the same opportunity I was.
social studies teacher just so happens to be exploring a run for Secretary of State. Education is the foundation for democracy. And if we're not fully funding the budget, we're doing a disservice to my daughter and our young people and our teachers. I cannot believe, having worked at Lincoln Bassett School, which was a neighborhood school, it wasn't magnet, we had to raise our own money to get our own supplies 10 years later. It's still happening. Let's just do the right thing. Do the right thing. Let's just do the right thing. Let's invest in our youth. Let's invest in our futures. Thank you so much for the time. to tell you all that the 200,000 members of the Connecticut AFL-CIO stand with you in your fight for fairness, in your fight for justice, and in your fight for funding. The entire educational system is built on unpaid overtime and making you perform the job of multiple people. And brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you that time is over. Fully fund our schools. Fully fund our schools. We need to make sure our students not just survive, but thrive. Yeah. We have three billion dollars in a budget surplus in the state of Connecticut. Yeah. We have another three billion dollars in a rainy day fund. That's cool. I got news for you, Governor Lamont and members of the General Assembly. It's not just raining, it's pouring. This is not a fight about affordability, it's a fight about priority. And I for one am sick and tired of people telling me they don't have the money to do what we need to do, which is fully fund our school. like Ula yeah. and our faith partners yeah. and the Coalition of Recovery for All yeah. will continue this fight together because only together will we win. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.